Hello everyone. I am Anish Bhattacharya and I work as a consultant at Encryption Consulting. We cover all the aspects of security concerns such as data security, key management and privacy. This video is the second part of our series on Java Key Store, where I will show you how to configure Thales Luna HSM with Java. How can you generate keys and how those keys are stored? Now to keep in mind, you should have already installed Java for this to work. I will open up CND and just ensure that I have Java installed. So I am using Java 8 in this environment and you can also use Java 8 or Java 7 or Java 11 according to your need. Now you should also have installed Luna client and configured it properly. To ensure you if you have configured Luna client properly, just go to the Luna client folder. That should be in C program files safenet Luna client. And type the command VTL space verify. This should return a serial number and the label of your partition that you are currently using on your client. as it returns the serial number and the label. So I am sure that I have Luna client perfectly installed. So to begin the process of this whole thing, first we will need to copy a few files. So just go to your Luna client folder. So that should be SafeNet Luna client. Go inside GSP, Java security provider. Inside libraries, you should have two files, Luna API.dll and Luna provider.jar. So these two are what you will need to copy inside Java library ext and you will paste these two files over here. So what these are specifically, these are the algorithms that the Java will need to create and use the keys that you will be storing on your key store. Now we will open up a CMD but with administrative privileges. Now, what we will do is in Java, we have something called a java.security file that you can find in live security and here java.security files. So these contain the providers that Java uses to create keys, uh, maintain key stores and all that. So we will need to edit this java.security file. So I will close this one, but open this one from CMD because you need administrative privileges to edit this file. So I will go to this folder by changing directory and just say java.security. If you don't have administrative privileges, you won't be able to change the file. Now you can add the provider at any order. If you wanted to add on the second, you can add on the second, but keep in mind that you have to change the indexes of the subsequent providers that you have mentioned. So you have to change this to three, you have to change it to four and so on. But if you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. I will do it on the last one because it will be a little bit easier. I don't want to break anything if you have any applications installed which are using these providers. We will mention this provider explicitly whenever we want to use it. So I will just say security.provider. So the next index should be 11 equals com dot safenet incorporation. So safenet inc dot luna dot provider dot luna provider. So this is an exact name. This last one. Luna provider is the exact name that we have when we copy the files to the lib ext in Java folder. So as you can see, these two have the exact same name. So whenever we are using this provider, this jar file will be called and his algorithm will be used. Just save this file. You will see that asterisk is gone. So this file is saved. And now we have the Java security file properly done. Just one last step. You need to go to any location on your C drive. So I will just go to my C drive, create a folder called key store. And inside here, I will be keeping a notepad file. 
So I will just go to my notepad, open up a notepad. And here I have to mention which slot I have to use. So if I just go to my Luna client folder, and just to retail verify, you can see that I have only one slot available, which is slot zero. As you can see, I have only one slot available, which is slot zero. So I will mention, I will be using this slot for all the operations. So I will just see slot colon zero, and I will be saving this file in my C drive key store, and I will name it as Luna store. I would not want any extensions associated with it and just save the file. And here we have it as Luna store. This is Luna store.txt, but that's okay. You, uh, you have to mention it is .txt at the end. Now I would go inside my key store folder. Now I'm inside key store folder and I can see that there is the Luna store.txt file inside here, which has a slot zero that we have already mentioned. So whenever we, we run the key tool command, it should show me that it should always use this slot that we have already mentioned. So at this point, you should already have configure the java.security files, copy the DLL files and the jar files to Java lib ext folder. And you should also have done the Luna store file. You have you should have created this file and done slot zero or whichever slot you are using and copied it to here. Now we will be creating the key using the Java key tool command. So I will open up CMD. And over here, we will go to our key store folder that we have created. Now over here, we will be using the key tool command that we have available. If you don't have key tool available right here, so if you are getting any kind of errors such as key tool is not available or not recognized, you need to edit your environment variables. Go to your environment variables right here and over path, you need to edit and add the slash bin folder of your Java. If you just add this path on your uh, environment variables, you should be able to use the key tool commands. So now we will be creating the key pair that is the RSA key pair asymmetry key, and we will be creating it with key tool. So we will just say key tool, then we will give the flag gen key pair, which will generate the key pair that we will need. And then we have to give a few details about the key that we will be creating. Starting with the alias, which we will give as key demo for now. Then we have to give the key algorithm, which will be RSA. Signature algorithm, which will be SHA-256 with RSA. Then we have to give key password, which I'll give it as password one for now. Then we'll give key size, which should be 2048. Key store would be Luna store.txt, the text file that you created just now. Store password would be your crypto office password or whichever password you want to use for the key store that you are creating right now. And finally, the store type, which should be Luna. Now this will create the asymmetric RSA key for you. Now it will ask you a few more details such as your name and everything that will be going inside the public certificate that will be stored and it will also store your public key. So public key associated with that certificate will store all these details. So first name and last name, I will give mine. And you can fill these details as you go on. Now it will directly contact the HSM, create the private and public key and the public certificate that you will be using for the public key and store it in your key store. These keys would still be stored in your HSM, 
but the reference will be key kept inside your key tool that you can use on later. So just a few more seconds and the key store should be ready. Okay, as we can see the key uh, store is ready and the keys are properly stored or not. We don't know that for sure. Now. So what we will do is we will list all the keys as, that are stored inside this key store and we'll check if our key that we just created that is key demo, if that key is inside that key store.txt or not. So we'll just say key to dash list dash v for verbose. We'll give store type, which should be Luna, and key store, which should be Luna.txt. That should give us all the keys that we have stored in our key store. We should also include the key demo that we just created. This should take a while and it is asking for the key store password. So that's the password that you have given while creating the key. Okay, now it says the key store type which is Luna and the key store provider, the Luna provider that we have already mentioned. Now it will slowly show us all the keys that it has inside it. Okay, so that took a while. So we will, we can see all the keys that have been created on this key store and that all that are stored in the key store. Starting with the Luna key, which is the alias and where it was created, what is the entry type, a few of the details and the certificate. If we go down, we can see the most recent key that was created. That is the key demo. Over here, we can see the key alias name, which is demo, the creation date, the entry type, and all the things that we have over here. Now, we also have a serial number and a validity period of the certificate and all the other things with the signature algorithms and everything. Now this, we can see this in the key store, but is this key really stored inside the HSM? So we can check this actually. So we can go inside Luna Client. So that would be inside SafeNet, Luna Client. And you can run the command CMU space list. Now certificate management utility shows us all the keys that have been created and which are present inside the HSM. So we should be able to see the key demo key or actually two, which is a private key and a public key. And both of these keys should be inside the HSM. So let's try one more time. Okay, so this is showing us first the public key and the associated certificate with it on handle 4882 and the private key, which is stored on handle 3230. So these are references to the keys and the certificate that are stored inside the HSM. Now it will show us the rest of the keys that are stored inside the HSM, which is all the keys that we have seen previously. These keys, you can create these keys for development or for production purposes as you feel like. Now, you can use the key tool and the Java to use these keys and create more keys if you want. So this was all about integrating SafeNet Luna HSM with Java Key Store. Okay, so thank you everyone. On the next part, I will show you how to integrate Java Key Store with Insafa HSM and how you can do the similar things that we have done on Luna HSM on the Insafa HSM also. If you need any help with any of these key management, any kind of assistance on HSM, or you need any kind of consulting on how to integrate HSM with your existing applications, feel free to contact us on info at encryptionconsulting.com. With that being said, uh, subscribe to our channel and you will be updated when we upload the next video 
that is part three, where we integrate Java Key Store with NSAFA HSL. Thank you, everyone.